65 years to the month after the first American airplane lifted off, humankind is on its way to the moon. If all goes well, Apollo 8 will orbit the Earth two and a half times, speed off 233,000 miles into deep space. Once they reach the moon, they will orbit 10 times, and then head back to Earth. Manning the guidance and navigation station on Apollo 8 falls to Jim Lovell. Uh, Apollo 8, Houston. Mission Control has some good news. He's on an almost perfect course. Apollo 8, Houston, you're looking good here, right down the center line. Roger, Apollo 8. Now, it's time for one of the most critical maneuvers of the entire mission, to fire up their engine and then slow the spacecraft just enough to enter lunar orbit. The mood in the control room is tense. The spacecraft must fly into this orbit at a precise speed and location. Going too close or too slow will cause it to crash into the moon. Too far or too fast will send it on a one-way journey into space. Making it even more complicated, astronauts won't have mission control to help. The key maneuvers had to take place when the astronauts were behind the moon. So they were completely cut off from Earth. A really critical flight maneuver is happening, and there's no way to know until after it's all over. All the training has built up to this moment. Now, the crew will be on their own. Uh, Apollo 8, Houston, uh, you're riding the best bird we can find, over. People had navigated across oceans. People had found their way across continents. Nobody had ever found their way across a quarter of a million miles of interplanetary, interworld void before. On Christmas Eve, Mission Control gives the go-ahead. Apollo 8, Houston, one minute to LOS, all systems go. Uh, roger, safe journey, guys. Thanks a lot, Trips. We'll see you on the other side. The men in Mission Control wait anxiously to see if Apollo 8 has survived its journey to the far side of the moon. The worst thing that could happen, of course, would have been if they heard nothing. That would have meant that the astronauts had crashed on the far side of the moon. That was a very real possibility. 32 minutes after losing contact, Ground Control sends a test call out into space. Apollo 8, Houston, over. Apollo 8, Houston, over. Go ahead, Houston, uh, Apollo 8. Very complete. Apollo uh, 8, this is Houston. Roger, good to hear your voice. It was a critical step in being able to land on the moon.